where in the world could we be right now, I wonder? Mis Mr. Projector, is that you? Marker, what's up, Russ? Doesn't look like New York. I've actually been editing since uh, the early 1980s. Cutting a scene from Dynasty, a uh, television show, as we all know, was rather popular. Ah, I know. Do you know where we are? Of course you don't. It could only be one place. Next thing you know, I was nominated. That's how I ended up in Hollywood. Hollywood! I do have a full-time job as a trailer editor at this wonderful company called Toy Box Entertainment. Probably my proudest accomplishment uh, with all those years behind me at MGM would probably have to be the, uh, the James Bond campaigns. Bond. James Bond. And just doing the trailers for, uh, for those films is incredible. You were expecting someone else? I understand, Russ, that you are a collector of the educational films that we so love and adore. My collection at this point currently numbers, given any day, anywhere between 1,700 and 1,800 films. One that comes to mind is Personal Hygiene for Boys, second edition. Body odor. Body, Body odor. odor. Body, Body odor. odor. It, it's amazing it's a second edition made it this far, because I can only imagine what the first edition was like. And of course, don't do drugs. Mike is more experienced than you in the ways of narcotics, but until now, he has never suggested that you toke up together. Another film that comes to mind is VD Attack Plan, made by none other than Walt Disney Productions. <laughs> things of syphilis and gonorrhea and you name it and they cover it including the proper use of condoms <laughs> Paul Bunnell is a very very good friend of mine and is directing this film called the ghastly love of Johnny X what's this all about it's a comedy the ghastly love of Johnny X it's a musical These lips that's never It looks gorgeous, and it has just been a so much fun to work on. This in a small part is what editing is. 